Hi, welcome, Simon here. Hope you're doing well. In this video, let's dive in to this Acer Nitro gaming desktop. Let me show you the model here. Um, that is the front and the model here is on the side. If you take a closer look, you should be able to identify. It says Acer Nitro N50-640 series, model D20E2. Okay. So let's remove the side panel. To remove the side panel, you would have to remove the screws here. Uh, which are the two screws here holding the side panel. Once the two screws are removed, slide the panel to the left and to remove it. So let's identify what you're looking at, what are the things that you can upgrade, and what are the things that you can do, kind of speed things up. All right, so let me zoom in a little bit here. As you can see that the um, CPU fan is, is the stock CPU fan with the heatsink underneath and uh, they do have two RAM slots and let's take a look at the RAM to remove the RAM you, all you have to do is to push this little clipper down and you can remove the RAM by lifting it straight up now this run on a DDR4 how do I know it's the DDR4 RAM if you take a look at it it says PC4 that stands for DDR4 and this is a 8 gigabytes of desktop RAM okay to upgrade yes you can you have two additional I mean one additional slot so the first slot here runs on an 8 and then you can add additional um, secondary RAM you can get one of these a DDR4 RAM and add it on to the computer so 8 and 8 you would have a 30, uh, 16 gigabytes of RAM and I believe this can go up to 32 gigs of RAM all right, so to install the RAM is very easy. Uh, making sure that this slot right here, this gap matches up the slot. All right, the slot do have a, a gap to match this thing here. You do not want to insert it on this way because the length of the RAM is different, okay? So you wanna make sure you match it before you push all the way in. Now to install it, you have to make sure that the RAM is in the right slot position. Once it's in, all you have to do is to push it in and you can hear that little click and the click is to clip it on and holding down the RAM all right move on that is the uh, Wi-Fi card the NIC card the NIC card and this is the M.2 RAM um, sorry M.2 SSD drive and that is the one that is holding down all the um, windows the data the programs and whatnot and again I just like to point this out to you if you are uh, interested to recover the data let's just say that the computer is broken and you want to recover the data you can get one of these m.2 um, usb adapter if you're not sure where to buy them just check the link down in the description below i'll link it to either amazon or ebay where you can uh, recover the data so assuming that this is the m.2 that was pulled from the computer let's just assume that uh, this was the original i pulled it out and you want to get this m.2 adapter slide it in like such okay and then of course you want to put a screw here to hold it down otherwise you get a uh, something to to kind of uh, uh, push it down instead of the natural 45 degree angle like such so you need to have something to kind of pinch it down like like so now this would act like a USB thumb drive if you plug into a different computer let's just say you plug into um, a secondary computer and you should be able to access your file like a like a thumb drive all right to move on this is the uh, graphics card looks like this graphics card is a low profile graphics card it doesn't have any uh, six pin or eight pin connector power to power up the graphics card it just looked like the uh, uh, look like uh, a standalone graphics card um yeah so what are the things that you can upgrade oh, definitely they do have additional uh, PCIe power it is a 6 and 6 if you're looking to upgrade a better graphics card yes you can you can remove this and upgrade to um, a graphics card that, that requires a, a bigger power it does come on a sorry it does come with the additional 2 pin connector as you can see that this 2 pin connector is available uh, for you to connect it as an 8 pin and 6 pin all right, so move on to the next. The computer 
um, do have a secondary slot for the M.2 and again if you need additional storage capacity uh, you can get the M.2 like such and then put it down put a screw in so this computer runs on two M.2 SSD drive um, they do have the SATA cable where you're allowed to have additional um, hard drive storage capacity which you can insert here at the bottom however uh, notice that the uh, power cable here is kind of uh, attached to the front of the computer uh, therefore you might need to um, reposition that lighting it looks like there's a front lighting that requires power in the front and that is using up the power on this cable so let's pull the cable back in you should be able to power up the hard drive at the bottom here get an extension or a splitter for that all right it's pretty much that's about it uh, this computer here is very straightforward i guess the build uh we have this wi-fi antenna cable the white cable here just come without any attaching to it and I noticed that this black cable the Wi-Fi is just kind of sticking out in the back of the uh, computer right here where is that right there that, that is the black cable anyway I'm not sure if this computer was tempered by someone else or that's how Acer is built. You can see that the black cable is right there. Okay, so anyway, um, that is that. I just fixed the power button. Um, if you're interested to learn how to fix the front power button, it's, it's pretty straightforward. You have to remove the front panel and then slide the power button through the front, back into the motherboard, and then there's the clip-on thing that clips it on. Other than that, um, I think the power button, it just not as good design it's a design flaw um yep thanks for watching if you have any question comment down below and uh, until next time bye now